Hello, fellow gamers. Welcome back for more Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Kevin J2010 here. In the last episode, we um, didn't do too much. We started the third and final Twilight little run through, whatever you want to call these Twilight parts of the game. Yes, this is the last one, luckily. Um, as Midna even said, there's only three fused shadows, so don't worry. There's not going to be too too much. Um. Yeah, so what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to be continuing up to north to Upper Zora River, I believe, is where we're going to go. Because we worked our way up here already. And you notice we're running on ice right now as we head north, which means we're running on a river right now, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, when I'm recording this, I'm actually having a, a little um, recording faux pas. This might not come out when you expect it to come out. Zora's Domain. Here we are. I like to look at this place. Even when it's frozen, it looks really cool. Oh, hey, what's going on here? I thought it was getting colder, but who would have thought that it would have it would all be frozen? This is Zora. This is the Zora Village, right? Why I don't see any then? Well, anyway, let's go check out. The, let's go. Let's go check things out. Let's find the Zoras. Yeah. I actually really like to look at this place. Like, I mean, in the Twilight Realm, it it it, it gives off a nice glow. It seems. Um, you, you want to run right up here because Minda's gonna say, "Hey, we can we can do a jumpy thing." You know how much you like to do jumpy things. Yeah, I like doing jumpy things. Well, that was a really interesting idea, like throwing in this whole idea of being, of like the area being frozen. Because it really, like, well, I guess that's not new, because I mean, oh, I didn't mean to, wow, that probably really hurt. Um, although it's been done in other Zelda games, it, I just think it looks really cool in this game by, I don't know, I don't know what I'm thinking. I, I almost want to say it's original, but it, it's not original. I don't know what I'm thinking. Le leave a comment if you think I know what I'm trying to say. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Heck, you'd probably explain it better than I would. Ah, it's funny because when I started, when I was about to record this episode, I'm like, you know what? This is probably gonna be a pretty short episode. I mean, like, I know what I'm doing. It's probably gonna be pretty short. I mean, I I know where I'm going. Pretty simple. And I didn't think it was gonna take this long. This is probably gonna be a shorter episode, but apparently, if I keep screwing up. It's gonna take longer or something. Finally, we make it to the top of the waterfall, the frozen waterfall, in fact, which kind of confuses me. It has to be really cold to be able to freeze a waterfall, because I mean, the water is moving. When water is moving, it, it it generally makes things harder to, you know, freeze. Anyway, so they're gonna wall us off here, and you'll notice that there's actually gonna be a wall in between it. You thought it was just gonna be one big circle. It's actually not. So I suggest you kill this guy on his own first. Kill this guy on his own, and then come over to these two and walk into the wall. Apparently, then you come over to these two, walk on them both, and get them both. Pretty simple. Onward to mail. I don't know. I I just had that stuck in my head from when I said that. I don't know. I thought it was really cool. Zooms down. A portal has opened here too. We can finally warp. If you want to breathe the air of the world of light for a moment, let me know. I'll take you there. Now. We need something that was really, really hot. Whoa, hey, down, look down below the ice. You can see that there's a bunch of people. Jesus. That actually looks really like, that's really, that's a scary thought when you think about it. Those, those are the Zoras. Wow, this is really strange. What in the world happened? Hey. What do you want to do? We can't just leave them like this. I think we... I think we all know... I think we all need... I think all we need to do is thaw them out. It does... It does us no good to just stand here thinking. Let's leave and come back later. The portal should work for us. We need to find a way to melt the ice and then come back here. Well, yeah. So as I was saying, we need to find some... Crazy way of... Finding out what we need. Well, if you remember... Up at Death Mountain, Link almost got destroyed by some meteor thing. There's no way it can still be hot. I mean... 
And there it is. The big media thing. Meteor thing. If you touch it, you'll actually hurt yourself. It's still hot. Which I guess is, like, you'd expect it to be hot. Because, I mean, it's, like, magma. So you're going to want to warp it all the way back up here to Zora's Domain. Which is funny, because this is the only warp I believe we're going to get. Yeah! I always love that sound. I don't know why. That's one of my favorite, like, sound effects that Minda makes. And, like, in general, one of the best sound effects in this game. That Yeah! I don't know why I like that. It's just one of those sound effects that I'll always remember from a video game. Like, that that's one of them. Same with, like, Oblivion. I always remember the sound when you equip something. It's pretty... It's an interesting sound, but yeah. And... Gosh! Now, obviously, we're not going to talk about the fact that that would have landed on the Zoras, but... Whatever. Jesus. That, that doesn't make any sense. Well, well, I guess it would, because, I mean, you'd hit the ice, and then it would splash. But, I mean... Still have to wait for it to thaw, I mean... Come on. And here we are, back in Zora's domain. God, I love to look at this place. The way that water's pouring. It looks especially cool when you're ha when you're in the Twilight Realm. I really think this looks amazing here. Who knew that something so dangerous would come in handy? Alright, the Zoras are safe now, so let's go. The ice melted and restored the water flow to normal. We can now finally meet the spirit of Lake Hylia. Or something like that. There's people you can talk to here, but I don't believe they say much. There's a throne here. No one's on the throne. That's kind of... That's depressing. I mean, you have a throne for your king, but there's no king. What the what now? Wait. Please, you must allow me to thank you for revitalizing both my people and this spring, which is the water source for all the lands of Hyrule. In life, I was the elder of the Sor village and the queen of my people. I was called Brutella. Not to be rude, but we didn't exactly do it for you guys. For you guys. The Dark Ones, they raided this village and, as a message for a message to my people, executed me before them. Young man, you who take the form of a proud beast, I have something to ask you. When the Dark Ones descended upon our village, I sent my young one, Rawlis, to Hyrule Castle to inform Princess Zelda of our fate. But I fear danger followed him from this doomed place. I feel it. His presence grows fainter to me over time. But my time in this world has passed, and though I would give although I would give too gladly although I would give it gladly, I no longer have a life to risk in his rescue. Please, would you save my dearest Prince Rawlis? If you do this thing, I will bestow upon you the protection of water. This power will grant you the ability to swim and respire in very deep water, as if you were Azora. Please, save my son. Hmm, so if we help her, she'll grant you the power to swim in deep water like Azora? Huh. So, what do you say, hero? Oh, but now that I think about it, I don't suppose you should meet the prince as a wolf, huh? Hehe. <laughs> so, no hurry to return... No hurry to return you to the world of light, then, huh? Yeah, we can't get returned to the world of light yet. Never noticed the continuity there? We ended up on the other side of the domain, because I kind of decided to break the game. To break the game. I decided to broke the game. I'm very good at English, you see. I'm good at English, see? Looks like this shock of the impact not only raised the water level, but sped up the flow, too. This water should flow all the way down to the lake. Why don't you let it take you there? Okay, well, let's do that. Okay, now you notice we swim like a freaking dolphin. Or something. Because we're going with the current, so we're going to be going really fast. And here we are back in Lake Hylia, which is 
pretty awesome, actually. And here we are at the, uh... Aren't you awake yet? Look, we got washed all the way down to Lake Hylia, just as I predicted. And it looks like we're right in front of the spirit spring to boot. Talk about lucky. Well, let's go. Snap out of it and get to the spirit. I will, but I'm going to take a quick detour, actually. Because, if I believe correctly, we can make a little warp. I want to actually... I want to do something real quick before I go talk to the spirit spring. But first we have to take care of this now, which is slowing my progress. We only got three. That's not that bad. Okay, so where are they? There's one there, one there, one there. Okay, so I'm going to kill one of these guys first. There we go. Whoa, geez, camera. Making random, like, spins. I'm going to get the other guy in here. Oh, I didn't get him. What the what? That didn't make any sense. Okay, get that guy in his own now. I'm going to try guiding these two together. There we go, got him. The camera really likes to freak out when I do that for some reason. I don't know. And there we go. Um, I'm just seeing here. I'm actually going to meet you when I find some of the grass that we can use to warp. I believe there's some right here. Yeah, there is. Okay, never mind. I'm not cutting for anything. Now, because we can't hold it up, we have to howl. Doesn't sound anything like the song, I just like to point out, but... See, that's the problem with, with the wolf howling. It doesn't sound anything. It doesn't sound anything like when you played it with, <laughs> with the grass, right? Like, I don't know, I always just found that weird. Anyway, so the Dark Hard Rock's gonna come pick us up again. Mina's gonna ride her, or it, and we are going to get a lift. I'm actually gonna just meet you guys back up at Zora's River. Where this ends up. So I'll see you guys in a sec. And here we are. Drop us off at the top of Upper Zora River here. And what we're going to want to do is I actually want to head this way real quick. Because if you head this way, you'll find right up here there's a place we can howl. And there's some people over there, but that's not the point. Pretty simple. We just found another howling stone, so we'll howl to it. And we're going to want to redo the song here, as always. Do we and now it's... Uh, I'm sorry, they made it kind of sound terrible here. Let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. Swan dive. Anyway, I just always love that. I just love that jump there. I always thought that was cool. And no, I'm not going to say what... You probably thought I was going to say, like, you know, Leave a faith! I'm not going to say that, even though I just did, which kind of makes me a hypocrite. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Oh, no! No! No, I don't want to I wonder even where that goes. Now I think about it, that doesn't even make sense. Anyway, um, the way back down is this way, so I'm going to meet you guys back in front of um, the Spirit Spring. Oh, we can't even take that. Whoops. Well, yeah, I'm just going to meet you guys back in front of the Spirit Spring so we can finish this episode. So, I'll see you guys. What do you say right here? Let me see. Oh. Oh, what do you know? That's kind of weird. 
Can we even break this bug? No, we can't because we don't even have the, the vessel of light yet, so it doesn't even matter. I'm going to leave you there. Have fun. So yeah, I'm going to meet you guys back at the Spirit Spring. Okay, so it seems that with that, we have made our way back to the Spirit Spring right here. Let me just read the sign just to make sure you guys know. Spring of the Spirit Laneru. Laneru. Whatever you want to pronounce it, not the point. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we will be entering the Spirit Spring and talking to the spirit of Laneru. And I will see you guys all in the next episode. See you guys later.